Welcome back to my uh, two-part tutorial on painting an Imperial Fist Space Marine, uh, Primaris Intercessor. Uh, it's a challenge from Emil at Squidmore Miniatures. Uh, and of course I couldn't say no, so I did it. I had four hours to paint it and uh, I've painted for two hours and got two hours left. So let's get on with it and see you at the end. Bye. <laughs> I started uh, the details by painting the leather uh, parts, uh, like the satchels and bags with uh, snake bite leather contrast paint, two coats uh, to get a kind of a saturated uh, brown over that. And uh, then I painted the ribbings on the armor with the black Templar contrast paint. Uh, two coats to get a nice black even coat and also the eyes and uh, tubings with uh, the black Templar. I <clears throat> painted the bolter with uh, the black Templar uh, contrast paint also. Uh, to thick layers to give it a nice even black coat. I think sometimes this is actually easier than using black paint since uh, you don't have to thin it and it gives uh, kind of a good coverage. Uh, the purity seals were painted with uh, Rackarth flesh uh, and I used uh, Mephiston red on the trims of the armor as a base coat. And uh, I increased the amount of this uh, towards the parts where I wanted the highlights to be. I was careful to leave the shade in the recesses and uh, just uh, getting the Mephiston red on the parts where I wanted the highlights to be and carefully picking out each feather of the uh, Aquila. And then I washed it all with some Blood Angels red contrast paint to get a nice saturated red. The next step of the highlighting of the red was a thin layer of um, uh, Evil Sun Scarlet, uh, really thinned down with water and just applied on uh, slightly higher areas than uh, the Mephiston red and uh, uh, built up with several layers uh, to, to get a nice highlight. Also here I'm uh, very careful not to get this in the recesses. Uh, next layer was uh, Wild Rider red applied on the even higher points and where I wanted the reflection highlights to be. Um, and um, careful to just pick out really really the highest parts and uh, the final highlight for the red was with squig orange I picked out um, all the metal parts in the bolter and, and all of the marine with the lead belcher um, it's a really good base paint and uh, Usually one layer is enough, it's a good cover. And uh, also the parts where I want um, a gold finish, I paint this with lead voucher. Then I washed um, um, the purity seals with Agrix Earth Shade and uh, all the black areas with uh, Nuln Oil. I edged highlight uh, all the red with Squig Orange um to just pick out the highest areas and the extreme highlights i also use this uh, very thin down to to create some extreme uh, high points highlights uh, hot spots on the armor The purity seals were reapplied the highlight of uh, uh, 
Rakarth Flesh and then Pallet Witch Flesh to make it pop and then a tiny highlight of white on the highest points. wax on the Puri seal was highlighted with uh, uh, Emperor's Children and uh, I think Fulgrim Pink or something, I don't remember, but just two different pink colors to uh, differentiate it from the red paints uh, that I used on the red areas and uh, some extreme glow highlights. Uh, if you want an expert way to paint this, just check out Darren Latham's videos on Purity Seal Seas the Master. The sensory screen was uh, painted with uh, Warp Stone Glow and then highlighted with Moot Green and uh, finally a dot of Krieg Cocky and the same was achieved with the eyes, uh, I kept them the same color. And I painted the small lines that uh, represent the scanner, uh, scanning a few enemies close by. And uh, then I painted some fine lines on the purity seal to represent uh, the writing. Uh, also here, check out Darren Latham's video. He's um, He's really good at this and I just followed his uh, example and I think it leaves a really good result. The bolter um, was highlighted with um, Dark Reaper uh, as a first layer. Uh, I wanted it to have kind of a cool uh, tone that contrasts with the red and the yellow that has kind of warm tones. and. Uh, here I just uh, edge highlight all of it with uh, uh, first the Dark Reaper and then Fenrisian Grey, uh, the Fang and uh, lastly uh, Blue Horror. This is uh, once again a recipe from Darren Latham here. He's good at painting marines and I wanted to try some of his recipes and I find them very very useful. Um, I think that the cold the tones on the black really contrasted nicely with, with the yellow on this Imperial Fist. Um, edge highlighting is um, kind of tedious work, especially on bolters. I don't know why but um, they are paint to paint and uh, I don't know it's, it's, the, it's my least favorite part of the model if you um, don't count the ribbings uh, on the back side of the legs. Those are really hard to get good. But I think the result was worth uh, the effort in the end. The black parts, uh, like I said, was uh, washed with null oil and then uh, I uh, used some yellow contrast paint on the uh, gold areas. Uh, I think that looks really good. And I gave both the gold and the metal a uh, highlight of <clears throat> room fang steel. And uh, the gold also got a, one more wash with the snake bite letter to give it uh, kind of a depth. Uh, gold can really be painted quite nicely in this way uh, using a steel base and then uh, using yellow to to tint it. I uh, varnished the shoulder pads with a hard coat and then I applied the transfers that I cut out and as everyone who has ever tried to put a transfer on a marine knows it's uh, it's, I don't know how they thought when they designed them, they just don't go on very well. Uh, it's, it's horrible. But if you use uh, decal medium from Vallejo, uh, 
and just reapply this uh, many many times uh, the decal will uh, shape itself uh, after the the shoulder pad and uh, eventually look quite okay this is uh, almost you can almost um, feel that you would save time by freehanding these symbols if you can but <clears throat> in the end it uh, it looks kind of good but I don't know it's it's kind of hard I am um, after the decals were uh, applied I realized I forgot the highlight um, leather parts and I just did a quick uh, line highlight or edge highlight with uh, Scrag Brown and Dumbo, uh, Scrag Brown and uh, another light brown. I think it's uh, Ungar Flesh. The base was uh, sprayed with the uh, lead belcher spray and then uh, uh, it was washed with uh, null oil and uh, dry brushed again with uh, lead belcher and uh, room fang steel. The gold uh, eagle was uh, like the eagle on the bolter. It was uh, washed with a uh, Nasdrag yellow to get a golden tone. And then I painted the earth and stones beneath uh, with uh, kind of brown tones. Just any earthy color will do, and just use your preference. I used um, some Joker orange, uh, highly diluted with water, and I applied it um, using a brush and uh, smearing it up with my fingers. Uh, to create rust spots where where the damage has been and um, where you just the spots where you find it uh, looks good. Uh, you don't want it looking too painted on. Uh, you have to like get your spots where you like them. And uh, on the gold or bronze parts, I, I painted some nihiloc oxide, which looks really good for creating some uh, nice old looking metal uh, agrix earth shade uh, always <laughs> i use it on on the dirt parts and uh, liberally creating it and uh, highlighting with the uh, rakar flesh and uh, palette witch flesh here The rim was painted with Steel Legion Drab, uh, as I uh, do with all my armies nowadays. I used to have more and fine brown, but it looked a bit too ready brown. This is, uh, I think, is a good subdued color that fits and doesn't take away from the, uh, the model or the base. Uh, I even used to actually have goblin green bases back in the day but that was uh, not very nice I glued the model um, with super glue just stuck it down on the base and uh, that was it it's done okay that's that the Primaris Intercessor is done. Uh, hopefully AML will be satisfied with the result. I am kind of happy uh, considering I only had four hours to paint it. And I don't know, I like painting yellow. I didn't think it was gonna be that good, but it's kind of a nice color. It's got a bad rep, shouldn't have. White, that's a bad color to paint. Black, even worse, paint yellow. Okay. Um, Check out uh, Squidmore Miniatures to see his reaction to this miniature and uh, subscribe to my channel if you like it. Uh, you can comment in the comment section and, I don't know, request something and I might do it. 
Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.